One of the key features of any decent online store should be the ability for customers to search specifically for the kinds of products that they want to buy. So imagine your own online store had 50 items, 100 items, maybe even a thousand items. You want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to search for the products that they specifically want to buy. And you could do so using this filter plugin, the Youth WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. It's an awesome plugin to have on your online store. So let me show you how to use this plugin. I am going to use the plugin on my shopping page in here. As you can see, I have quite a, quite a number of products to sell. So I want to make it easy for my clients to search by size or by color and so on and so forth. So I have already installed and activated the plugin. And when you do the same, you would find the youth plugins tab in here and you will have the Ajax uh, product filter plugin. You can click that. And now in here for the front end settings, if you haven't, uh, if you're using the default uh, WooCommerce templates, then you don't have to change anything in here. If you have made changes to the templates, uh, if you're a developer, you should be able to tweak the values in here to match the changes that you made. Uh, if someone else made the changes for you, then you would have to contact the person to assist you in here. Uh, custom style is for CSS. You can add your CSS declarations in here. While premium version, of course, this is the page that will try to convince you <laughs> to buy the pro version of this plugin. So let's come down to appearance, go to widgets. And now in here, we'll have two major widgets that come with this plugin. First, you have the Youth WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. I am going to drag that up here. And when you drop that in here, you can add the title, the filtering title. And we can filter by the number of attributes that you have on your online store. My store has two attributes, color and size. So let's go with color. And I can say that the title in here would be filter by color. And now in here, you could choose the type of display that you want. I am going to go with color since it's color. And now in here, since I have three colors in my attributes, black, blue, and green, I have the ability right now to select the color to match them. So with black, I'm just going to go ahead and select black. Uh, for blue, let's go with blue. And of course, for green, I'm just going to go with green. So your values obviously might be different depending on what colors you have on your own online store. Now in here, the query type, we have either and or or. <laughs> now this is very, very important and I'll explain to you in just a moment, but let's go with or for now. Let's save this. Now let's jump down to our shopping page. And all right, so in here right now, you can see we have the three colors showing up. Now remember that are the query type that we have is all. So what happens in here is if I went with green, notice that I have seven results showing up. But what if I also wanted items that have blue color in them? Notice right now that the results have gone up to nine because right now we're filtering through items that have either blue colors or green colors. So if I go with black, the results should increase even more. Well, actually, it's still the same uh, nine results. So that means that basically I have nine different items that have uh, either black, either blue or green in them. Now, please note that when I remove all the the filters, I end up having 21 items. The reason why it's 21 items is because most of the items I have are not variable items. This filter only works with variable items, items that have different sizes, different colors, and so on and so forth. So it's not going to work on simple products or uh, affiliate products or grouped products. This filter would only work on variable products. So please keep that in mind. Let's come back down here. Let's change the query type from or to and. So there's a difference right now. Let me save this. Let's come back in here. Let's refresh. Now, what happens here is this, okay? If I go with green, I want items that have green color in them, right? Seven results. Now, if I chose blue as well, the results actually drops down to just two because right now I'm saying I only want items that have both green and 
blue variations. And of course, if I went with black right now, the result drops down to just one. So this is the only item that has the colors of green, blue, and black. So it's very, very important the uh, query type that you choose. I'm just going to go with all for now because it offers more variety. Uh, let me save that. And what I'm going to do is to drag the filter again for my second attribute, which is size. All right, let's go with filter. Filter by size. For the type, I'm going to go with label. Let's change the attribute to size. Query type to all. So for large, I'm just going to go with L for large, M for medium, and S for small. Let's save that. Let's go back in here. Let's refresh the page. And now we have filter by size. So it basically works the exact same way as the filter by color. So you could change the uh, the query type from all to end. And it again, like I said, it works the same way as the filter by color. The last widget I'm going to drag would be the Ajax reset filter, which would allow our customers to reset the filters that they've set. So let me just save that, come back down here, refresh the page. So now in here, once you click reset all filters, all the filters get canceled and then we go back to the original page. So once again, I can filter by blue color and large size. So these would be the only item right now that has both the blue color and a large size. I click reset all filters. It goes back to the original page. So this is how to use the Yeath WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin. Thank you for watching. And of course, I will see you in the next class.